New Mexico 4-H, um, we reach uh, annually reach over 40,000 youth, uh, and that's not just contact, that's, that's six hours of instruction that we're giving to those youth, and we're focused on positive youth development. And it doesn't matter whether we're, we're inviting bikers to town, we're showing livestock at the fair, what we're trying to do is we're trying to give the kids opportunities to build life skills. So the bikers rode into Roswell, New Mexico, the 4-H members, they were excited about them coming in. They gave a presentation about Chavez County and, and what goes on in Chavez County. And then they really got into the meat of it. What were their 4-H projects? Why is 4-H important to them personally? And so they got to share the impact of 4-H. Then the riders, they rode from uh, you know, Roswell over to Cloudcroft. And, and there the, uh, the 4-Hers were set up in the pavilion and decorated up the pavilion with their 4-H projects so that they could share about their projects there as well. And they also got the uh, opportunity to serve the riders their lunch. And I think that created a lot of unique interaction. And then they gave a presentation about the Cloudcroft area and then got to share about their 4-H projects. And after the riders finished lunch, they were able to walk around and visit with them individually. And then to top it off at the banquet that night, the state officer team, some of the state ambassadors were there to do a program. And then we had a young lady that came in and talked about just uh, how impactful 4-H was to her the growth that she had personally from her 4-H experiences. Today we came to Lincoln County and the 4-Hers here got to talk about Lincoln County and the unique history here and, and got to share just how important Lincoln County is to them as, as well as 4-H experiences. Thank you.